All right, everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the Pulse Metrics channel. Today, we will be predicting WrestleMania 40. This is a long awaited video. I am super excited to do this video. Um, if you guys watch my channel, uh, you'll see like a couple weeks back, I did a way too early WrestleMania 40 predictions where I just predicted the only four matches that were really fully confirmed. But now that we have. I mean, it's 90% complete. There are two matches that are not confirmed yet, but will be confirmed this Friday, I'm hoping. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. But, quick disclaimer before we get started, as usual, if you disagree, please leave a comment saying what you agree with, what you disagree with, what you would change. Now, these are just going to be my predictions. It's just an opinion. It's not a fact. So, without further ado, let now, let's get right into it. Alright, kicking it off with one of the matches that's not confirmed yet, but will be confirmed, hopefully this Friday, we have the women's tag team title match, Naomi and Bianca Belair versus the Kabuki Warriors, aka Damage Control. I mean, to be honest, I really don't care about this match all that much. I mean, sure, I mean, you cool, Bianca Belair is getting involved, but she does not deserve to be in a women's tag team title match. These titles mean nothing. Bianca Belair um, deserves so much better than this match. I mean, she should be in the, in the women's world title picture, not taking on uh, uh, to, I don't know even what to call them, for uh, tag team titles that mean absolutely nothing to the WWE. This doesn't do a lot for her career. They've done nothing but crap on Naomi since she's come back. She, you know, lost the Elimination Chamber, lost the Royal Rumble, even though she put on a great performance in the Royal Rumble. Bianca Belair, like I said, she deserves so much better than this. She deserves to face Jade Cargill, who, by the way, has just signed with Friday Night Smackdown, but overall, I'm not really invested enough to really care. I'm, if anything, I'm picking Naomi and uh, Bianca Belair to win this flying colors. But yeah, overall, Bianca Belair deserves so much more than this match. So for those reasons, I'm not seeing this match for everything that it is. Alrighty, moving on to the next match, the last match that's not confirmed yet, but will be confirmed, hopefully this Friday, it's the rematch between Rey and Dominic Mysterio. Now, after seeing what happened this Friday when Dominic interfered with Rey's match with Santos Escobar, I think there's no doubt that this is going to be the match. Now, you know, last year, Rey won. Obviously, that needed to happen. You know, I was so happy when he won, but this year, honestly... Uh, I'm picking Dominic. There's no shot that Dominic loses this time. I mean, Dominic's done nothing but lose. I mean, Dominic's amazing. He has so much potential. He's, ever since he joined the Judgment Day, he's grown so much as a wrestler. God, like, he's, like, uh, Dominic deserves so much more. Like, he should, I mean, he should have the North American title right now. He shouldn't have lost it to Dragon Lee or Oba Femi or whoever he lost it to. I don't really pay attention to NXT that much. But yeah, Ray is getting old. Like, he doesn't really need to win this match. I mean, I, I predict that Dominic will win in a really, really great match. That means Ray will retire. Um, hopefully, Santos Escobar does not interfere because that will be absolutely a terrible ending to this match. But yeah, I think Dominic takes it. Uh, I would love to see Ray, but I don't think there's a shot that Dominic loses this time. Uh, hopefully, these two make up while Ray Mysterio uh, retires. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean, I don't really care about this match either. I mean, we already got it. Ray won. Uh, but if, if this match does happen, which it probably will, Dominic will win for sure. Alright, next up we have LA Knight versus AJ Styles in a singles match. Now, I could see AJ Styles potentially beating LA Knight to make the rivalry last all the way till what, SummerSlam? However, I really do not see that help happening. LA Knight has, hasn't had a good thing happen to him since like Crown Jewel when he faced Roman Reigns and almost won, but interference, you know, however... 
it's just stupid. Um, you will not find a bigger boost in your career than how LA Knight has with beating AJ Styles. If LA Knight wins, then it'll boost him to the moon even more than he has been already right now. So, uh, me personally, I'm picking LA Knight to win because he has to. AJ Styles is a great competitor, but at this point, LA Knight deserves to be in the main event of WrestleMania. He is amazing. AJ Styles, his time is coming to an end, so him uh, having one final overmatch in him would be amazing. If AJ Styles retires anytime soon, um, then... And then, yeah, L.A. Knight would have a big boost. L.A. Knight isn't as old as A.J. Styles is. A.J. Styles, uh, you know, is a, like I said, great competitor, but L.A. Knight deserves a lot more. He deserves to be in the United States title picture, potentially. So, I'm picking L.A. Knight because he has to win. Up next, we have Jey Uso versus Jimmy Uso, brother versus brother, and I really think there's only one obvious winner for this. Jey Uso has to win with flying colors, and if he loses, I'm absolutely gonna throw my phone at the TV screen. Like, dude, there's no reason why Jey Uso should lose this. I mean, when's the last time he's won a match besides on Raw? I mean, Jimmy Uso costed him the tag team titles, costed him the Intercontinental title, costed him the Undisputed title. Now what? You're gonna... Solo's gonna cost him this match? No way. Jey Uso, there isn't a shot that he loses. Jey Uso wins this with flying colors. Now, if G Jimmy Uso were to win this, then this rivalry will probably extend all the way to SummerSlam, where, like, maybe Rikishi, their father, will be the special guest referee. But no, the worst case scenario is that Solo interferes and Jimmy, and Jimmy wins, and that extends to SummerSlam. But I really really do not think that Jimmy Uso will beat Jay. I think Jay wins this, no doubt about it, because he has to win and potentially put him back into the IC title picture. Alright, moving on to the last non-title match. This is probably my favorite match and probably the one I'm most excited for. We have Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. I mean, the rivalry building up to this match, the everything, Rock beating the absolute crap out of Cody Rhodes on Raw, fantastic match building, fantastic rivalry building. However, I really don't think that Seth and Cody are going to win this. I mean, the Rock, I don't see why they would just bring back the Rock just to have him lose in a tag team match. I think the Rock and Roman Reigns will win this. I mean, I, um, actually, scratch that. I could really see this going either way. But I think the Rock and Roman Reigns will take it because, you know, there's absolutely zero reason as to why they shouldn't. Because, I mean, there's no point. Like, this... Seth beat, Seth and Cody winning would absolutely do nothing. Uh, the Rock and Roman Reigns, like, you will not find a bigger boost. Uh, I mean, if the Bloodline wins this, they will, all the momentum would be on them going into the two title matches. Um, but, you know, overall, I'm picking the Bloodline because there's no reason why they should lose this. Um, if I had to guess, I think it would be, uh, The Rock pinning Seth Rollins, uh, because there's really no reason why... Cody should get pinned by Roman Reigns ahead of their biggest title match ever. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I have to say about this. Um, I'm hoping and praying that uh, they win, but I think they will win. Because uh, the, the Bloodline is like the ultimate villainous faction that nobody can seem to beat. Um, uh, we'll, we'll get to the prediction between these two guys, all three of these guys' matches, but I think the bloodline takes it. Flying colors. There's no reason why they need to lose this. Alright, next we have the undisputed WWE Tag Team title ladder match. It's the Judgment Day versus um, DIY, Awesome Truth, The New Day, and probably gonna be The New Catch Republic and The Street Profits. I mean... Uh, I, this is not fully 
complete yet, but it probably, like I said, it probably will be this Friday. Um, but I'm really excited for this match. Shockingly, I'm picking Awesome Truth to win because, like, uh, they're really the only obvious winners for this. You know, R Truth getting revenge on what the Judgment Day did to them, like, for the past month or two would be so sweet to see. And obviously, a, a, a returning tag team, there's no shot that Awesome Truth loses this. Um,. I can tell you, it's not going to be the Judgment Day. It's not going to be, it's really going to come down to either Awesome Truth or the Judgment Day. But, you know, this is going to be a quick little prediction. I think the Awesome Truth takes it, no doubt about it. <laughs> Next up, we have the Intercontinental Title Match. The Ring General Gunther versus Sami Zayn, and there's really no rivalry building up to this. It's just like a match out of nowhere happened. Shockingly, shockingly, I am picking Sami Zayn to win this. Only because Gunther winning this would really do nothing. He's held the belt. I mean, don't get me wrong. He has been a great champion, but he does not need to win this because it would do nothing for his career. Hell, he should have lost it last year um, to Sheamus because there was really no reason why he should have lost that that time. Uh, Sami Zayn hasn't really done anything since WrestleMania. He, I mean... And him losing this would only really get the crowd to boo him, you know, because he because he'll be exposed as such a flop, such a fraud. Uh, Sami Zayn, yeah, he has to win this. Gunther, I mean, hey, this could potentially put Gunther in the world title uh, picture, you know. Gunther versus Drew McIntyre, maybe for the world heavyweight title, or maybe even Seth Rollins for the world heavyweight title. Damian Priest, you never know. Um, but yeah, overall, I think Sami Zayn takes this because there's really no reason why he shouldn't. Um, Gunther winning this would absolutely do nothing. Uh, it would just only be like another year of like be him beating mid Carters. Um, yeah, go overall, Sami Zayn wins this and. Gunther has been a great champion, by far the greatest Intercontinental title, uh, Intercontinental champion of all time, but his time is up right now. He does not need to win this. <laughs> Alright, next up, we have Io Sky versus Bayley for the WWE Women's Championship. Bailey wins this. Flying colors. That's all I'm going to say about this match. Honestly, uh, this match, I don't really care about this match all that much. I think it should be, um, I don't know what it should be. But Bailey, you know, I mean, she hasn't had, she's done nothing but lose since she came back. So her losing this would do absolutely nothing, which she's not. Honestly, I'm not even going to talk about her losing because she is not, not losing this. She won the Royal Rumble she just, you know, I mean, there's no shot that she loses. If she does lose, then why? Like, why did you have her win the Royal Rumble? Why did you have EO Sky just randomly come in and cash in on Bianca Belair? Um, you know, but overall, like, Bailey, there's really nothing else to talk about when it comes to this match. Bailey hasn't had anything important happen to her in a long, long time. So, yeah, she wins this. No doubt about it. Honestly, I'm not even going to say... Uh, her name right here because she's not winning at all. You know, no chance that EO Sky wins. <laughs> all right, up next we have the women's world title match Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. Now, I could really see this going either way, but if I had to pick one person, I would pick Rhea Ripley because yeah overall this could really go either way I really was struggling to pick who I think was gonna win but overall Rhea Ripley was my decision I mean I know she's held the title for a super long time but she's still only 27 years old she's still very young Becky Lynch winning this would do honestly really do nothing I mean Becky Lynch is one of my favorites of all time but I have to do I can't be biased I have to do what I think will happen and I think Rhea Ripley will retain here because there's no reason why Becky Lynch should win the title I mean 
Maybe she could go to SmackDown, win the women's world title off of Bayley. Maybe in the draft coming up after WrestleMania. But, you know, I really don't see anyone beating uh, Rhea Ripley for a super long time. Maybe she could surpass Bianca Belair's record for the longest championship reign of the modern era. But overall, Rhea Ripley will retain. I could see it maybe being interference from the Judgment Day. I see this being a really hard hitting match. But at the end of the day, Rhea Ripley will retain because she has to. Alright, up next, we have the United States Triple Threat match between Kevin Owens, Logan Paul, and Randy Orton. If Logan Paul wins, I am absolutely gonna riot, man. Like, dude, when's the last time Randy Orton's won? They've done nothing but screw him since he's come back. Like, War Games, I know he's got a moment, but Royal Rumble, ugh, lost. Elimination Chamber, lost. Now what, you're gonna have him lose to Logan Paul? No. There's no way that Randy Orton is losing this. Like I said, he hasn't had a... Thing happened to him since he returned and honestly it really pisses me off man because Randy Orton deserves to be in the main event of Wrestlemania taking on Seth for the world heavyweight title now why is Kevin Owens in this simply for no other reason than to just get him involved and honestly this was a good fit for him uh, he really should have won at the Royal Rumble. Like, Logan Paul's reign is really stupid. I mean, it does it does a lot for WWE, but his reign, however, hey, yikes. Really, one of the most boring title reigns I have ever seen. He wins all his matches with brass, no with brass knuckles. So, yeah, for those reasons, Randy Orton wins flying colors. Now, it would be sweet if he pinned Kevin Owens, but not really as sweet as... As if he pinned Logan Paul, which I think he will pin Logan Paul, and it would be so much sweeter if he pinned him on his prime logo in the middle of the ring at WrestleMania. That would be chef's kiss. Alright, we got two matches left, uh, starting with the World Heavyweight title match, Seth freaking Rollins versus Drew McIntyre with CM Punk being in the commentary. Drew McIntyre will win this match for sure. I mean, his heel character has been on fire lately. Seth Rollins, it has been a run. It's been really fun, but he really does not need to win this. Drew McIntyre, um, this will be his WrestleMania moment in front of a crowd like he always has deserved. I mean, I thought he was going to win it uh, against Bobby Lashley in Tampa like not, not too long ago. Like, three years ago, um, but you know, Drew McIntyre, like I said, his heel character has been on fire lately, Seth Rollins winning this would do absolutely nothing, well, when CM Punk comes back, I mean, they'll have a little feud, but it won't be as heated as CM Punk coming back, and Drew McIntyre, uh, and him having a feud, um, what I think will happen Drew McIntyre will win due to interference by CM Punk, and that will, like, you know, uh, lead, potentially lead to a triple threat match between these three at SummerSlam, which will be a absolute banger, by the way. But I think Drew McIntyre will win this because he has to. It will give him his much-deserved WrestleMania moment in front of a crowd. Like I said, he has always deserved this. And finally, that brings us to our main event is the undisputed WWE Universal title match, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes, and this one I will keep short and simple, man. If Roman wins, I am finished watching WWE. I am done with the product that they are giving us. I mean, like, dude, what, what in the world? Like, Roman Reigns, like, it's just been way too long. Interference after interference. Like, it's just not fun to watch anymore. Cody really should have won last year. Like, Roman Reigns, he's held the title for way too long now. It just needs to end. And if Roman does win by interference, um, I really am done watching WWE. Like, no more videos of me with WWE, I I'm just done watching the product. But overall, 
But now let's get to, into the prediction. I could really see this going two ways. One, it is a hard-hitting match. Just when you think Cody Rhodes will win, The Rock comes and interferes and costs Cody the belt again, and then Roman Reigns will win. And then when they're celebrating, The Rock hits the rock bottom on Roman Reigns, and then they, and then they turn, and then Roman Reigns uh, extends all the way to SummerSlam. Or, Cody Rhodes... This this will be a hard fought match. Cody Rhodes, just when you think uh, he's gonna lose, The Rock comes to maybe uh, interfere with Cody Rhodes even more. But then Roman Reigns gets pissed. He uh, does all this stuff to The Rock, disrespects The Rock, and then Rock hit and then Rock hits The Rock bottom on Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes picks him up, Crossroads Trinity pins him for the win, and then we see The Rock and Roman Reigns rivalry going to SummerSlam. What I think will happen. Option one, I think, I mean, listen, I am hoping and praying that Cody Rhodes wins, but if he just, if Roman Reigns wins clean, then that's when I'm done watching WWE. Um, if The Rock interferes somehow and the rivalry extends all the way to SummerSlam, then maybe, yeah, I'll keep watching. But if Roman Reigns just wins clean with no interference and then we never hear the end of it, I'm done watching WWE. So overall, who do I, th- who do I want to win? Cody Rhodes. But who do I think is going to win? Roman Reigns. And uh, for my reasoning for it, I don't know. But Cody Rhodes, I'm hoping... And praying, please leave a comment below saying we want Cody. Please leave a comment. We're hoping and praying for you, Cody, to win. Because we're hoping and praying for overall a new product. Like, this has been going on for like four years now. Four years of absolute torture, interferences, bloodline, just everything. It just has to end, man. Plus... In terms of storytelling, I don't think you can tell a better one. I mean, Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble for second year in a row, obviously just pointing uh, to Roman Reigns, and The Rock interfering with this rivalry has only made it spicier, man. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, probably Roman Reigns' greatest rival of all time besides Brock Lesnar. But overall, yeah, who I think will win, Cody Rhodes. I mean, not, uh, not Cody Rhodes. Who I want to win, Cody Rhodes. Who I think will win, Roman Reigns. Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and tell me your picks in the comments. And obviously, leave a comment saying we want Cody um, if you want him to win. Or maybe put uh, a little uh, thumb, a uh, little pointer finger up for if you want Roman Reigns to win or overall just the bloodline to win. Um, but obviously, please show your support and leave a like and subscribe. All the effort that goes into these videos is a lot. So, yeah, please make sure to do that. And I'll see you the next time I upload. Peace.